Capitalism and socialism are the two main economic systems used in developed countries today. And the main difference between capitalism and socialism is the extent to which the government controls the economy. What is the difference between capitalism and socialism? So, based in my answer in Learning Activity 1, capitalism, it focuses on freedom of the market. It is a system in which all the natural resources and means of production are privately owned. It emphasizes profit maximization and competition as the main drivers of efficiency, while socialism focuses on equal opportunity for all, emphasizes collective goals, expecting everyone to work for the common good, and it's placing a higher value in everyone's needs than on individual profit. So in my understanding about capitalism, it is an economic system that is not publicly owned by the government, which means that all the natural resources, the goods and productions are privately owned by the people. In capitalism, the productions and consumer prices is based on a free market system of supply and demand. In short, capitalism is more freedom for the people. So in socialism, it is an economic system under which the means of goods and productions are publicly owned by the government. It is a system that is the government owns and controls the production and consumer prices to best meet the needs of the people. In short, socialism is more on government control. And the similarities of socialism and capitalism is that they both consider labor and capital to be primary economic forces, and they both wanted better condition for the sake of the people. What is the difference between the IMF and the World Bank? So based in my answer in the diagram, the International Monetary Fund or the IMF, its main goal is to help countries which were in trouble at the time and who could not obtain money by any means. It is served as the lender or a last resort for countries which needed financial assistance, while the World Bank, its main goals revolve around the eradication of poverty and its funded specific projects that help reach their goals, especially in poor country. So my understanding about the IMF, the International Monetary Fund, is that they are the organization who promotes global economic growth and financial stability. They are the one who provides loans and help our countries develop policy programs to solve balance of payment problems. If the country cannot obtain the financing sufficient to meet its international obligations, while the World Bank, one of their goal is to reduce the poverty in the world. And the similarities between the two, the IMF and the World Bank, is that they both aim to help the economic stability of the world. So that's all.